Volleyball at home for the last time in the regular season. Women still with a slight chance of hosting a home playoff date. But they were in tough against the defending national champions and number one ranked team in Canada West, Trinity Western. First set, here's a block by Senya Koshit. The Spartans so talented, led by fourth year outside Hillary Howe, she ends the first set in convincing fashion. Second set, here's Avery Pottle with the kill, but like the first one, the second set will end with a Howe kill. She had 11 in the contest for Trinity, again the score 25-16 Spartans. In the third set, TRU getting closer, Lizzie Reimer with the block in the middle. Trinity takes a match in three. They break the hearts of the Wolfpack on Valentine's Day. Trinity clinches first place, and they make sure the pack will open the playoffs on the road. Saturday was Kendra Finch night as the team honored their lone fifth year, playing before friends and family, and she was putting on a show. Still in the first, Olga Savinchuk with the kill. She had three in the set before being rested for the rest of the match. The Wolfpack win the first set on this block. Second set. Finch with another kill, she had nine in the contest. The Spartans block Finch on this play to take the set and even the match. Third set, Savannah Purdy of Victoria, highly sought after recruit two years ago. She shows her skills here as she gets the kill. The Spartans take the set 25-18. Spartans win the fourth as well to sweep the Wolfpack. TRU opens the playoffs at McEwen in Edmonton on Thursday. On the men's side, same story. Trinity National Champs ranked number one in the country and first in Canada West. Josh Milani with the block to kick off his final weekend of university volleyball. It's the Waterloo Wonder, Charlie Bringlow with the kill, the tie at 24. We will go to extra points where Nemo Benny gets the kill, the Wolfpack win 29-27. Trinity takes the second set, now we move to the third, Milani with the block, no good, and the Spartans take it 25-23. In the fourth, Charlie Bringlow coming out of the back with the attack for the point, but Trinity takes the set 25-21 to win their 19th in a row. Saturday, minutes before they take to the court, the pack learn they're officially out of the postseason, just playing for pride and to send the graduates off in style. One of them is Sam Taylor Parks. He's on his game with the kill. Later, Josh Milani from Calgary out of the back. TRU lead 24-20. Then they take the first set to lead 1-0. Second set, the future's bright with setter Samuel Algert. Back-to-back -back service aces to get things going. And then it's Sam Taylor Parks. Will he be a Canada West All-Star? We'll find out in a couple of weeks. Still in the second, more Josh Milani. Third set now. Fifth year's continuing to leave their mark. It's Kyle Behill with the kill out of the middle. And the match will end on this play. It's Behill putting an exclamation point on it. The pack upend Trinity to finish up the season on a positive note. Both basketball teams on the road involved in play-in games. Mike Krualt driving in the first quarter. He had 28 for TRU in the contest. Anton Billis had himself a game as well, 10 points for TRU. One player who really came a long way this year was guard Brendan Sullivan. He had some moments in this contest as well. Let's move to the third quarter. Tyus DeVries with three of his eight points to go with six rebounds and three assists. The Pack lose by 13, second time in three years that Scott Clark's crew make it to a play-in game just to fall short. TRU women weren't even expected to make the postseason in their first season under Goran Nozick, but here they are playing in a play-in contest against Fraser Valley. Early on, and it's Emma Piggin, two of her 17 points, the Pack down 18-11 after the first. Jordan Haggerty will be the go-to girl at guard next season for the Pack. A bucket for her, she had 15 to go along with five assists. Still in the second, Lilani Carney going out in style in what would be her final career game. Nice move here, the Packer down 40-24 at the half. Fourth quarter, a glimpse into next year. Haggerty bringing it down court to Brooklyn Goltz for three. Nozick doing a great job considering he took over a roster that he didn't recruit, getting the most out of his players. The Pack fall victim to Fraser Valley in the last ever university game for both Lilani Carney and Emma Piggin. Wolfpack baseball team in Arizona for spring training 2020. They had a pair of exhibition games so far, opening up against Chandler Gilbert Coyotes, they fell 7-6, and then they dropped an 8-6 decision to the Grand Canyon Lopes. Both schools are junior colleges, and in both contests, the Pack were leading but lost in the last couple of innings. And that's Wolfpack Recap for this week. Full highlights, photos, and interviews by clicking onto our website, gowolfpack.ca. We'll talk to you in seven days. I'm Larry Reed.